Hey guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness, uh, a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys. So uh, today I want to talk to you guys about my, cha my training schedule and why I train as much or as little as I do. Okay, so I train for you. Get, for those of you guys who don't know, um, I train in mainly judo and wrestling at this point. Okay, I've done a lot of other martial arts, but those are my. This is what I settled on, and this is what I really enjoy. Um, so I train three times a week. Okay, in judo and wrestling, two times judo and one time wrestling uh, a week, and then. The, all the other days, on the days that I don't train judo or wrestling, then I'll, I'll go to the gym. I'll do my conditioning. So that sounds like a lot. It's six days a week that I train. On Sundays, I rest. Uh, you know, I take it off. I spend time with the family. So six days a week. It sounds like a lot, but it's, it, it's actually not. Because I train in judo and in wrestling. It's, it's sports where you do a lot of sparring. Okay? And when you do a lot of sparring and you're an older dude and you've accumulated damage and injuries and a little bit all over the place, okay, you need rest. So it's, it's hard. It's hard. So you need more rest to take care of your joints and to stretch out and to recuperate. So three times a week is enough. If you're doing a sport where um, it's super intense when you're, when you're sparring. And if you guys don't know, judo and wrestling, when, they, when, when we're sparring, it's fucking intense. It's not, um, it's not easy. It's not relaxed. We're not, uh, we're not flow rolling. We're not, no, it's, it's, it's almost impossible to flow roll or like in, in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, you know, and take it easy and stuff like that. Because, I mean, you're standing up, you're trying to take the guy down. You're not already like on the ground like in BJJ where you could actually... Um, adjust your intensity a lot easier than in judo in judo and wrestling holy fuck like it's 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 hard man it's hard so that's why three times a week is enough and uh especially if you're over the age of 30 okay like it's enough and then the rest of the time the other three times that i train okay uh is at the gym and this is so that i can i could keep my body in shape Okay, so that I can go back and do my sparrings uh, in judo and wrestling the week after. Because let's not kid ourselves. Like, you have to be strong and in shape to do these uh, martial arts if you're an older dude, okay? Like, you can't be... Because it's going to help you to avoid being injured all the time. So you need to be strong and you need to have some muscle. So... And also, I'm very flexible with my conditioning. So I'll, but I'm not as flexible with my judo and my wrestling. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean that when I go do, I always try to show up for judo and wrestling. Even if I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit injured, like if I'm injured, I'll do what I can. So I'll talk to my coaches and I'll tell them, listen, I'm a little bit injured. Uh, let's say for example, uh, on my knees, you know, my knee kind of hurts today or my lower, you know, so I don't want to do as much sparring or I'll just do some sparring uh, on the ground, let's say, for judo, you know, and or I'll just work on certain positions or drills and that's all I'll do, you know, I, I won't, or I might not even fight, I'll just do technique and that's it. But I always show up because I want to keep evolving um, as a judoka and as a wrestler and you need time on the mat you need to be there you need to see you need to experience you know um you need to do so th like those uh those days i'm always there i'm always there to do my martial art thing but for the conditioning i mean when i can i'll do it okay and if um if i'm feeling a bit tired i might do less and if I'm feeling like a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit busted up somewhere, I'll adapt my uh, my training session, okay, so as not to aggravate the injury. Let's say if it was shoulders, then you know I wouldn't you know fuck around with too many things uh, that involve the shoulder. Or in rare cases where I would be so fucking sore, and if I didn't get enough sleep, 
and I'm, I'm just too tired, then, then fuck it. I'll just, I'll just take that day and all I'll do is stretch and uh, use the foam roller, use lacrosse balls, you know, to get uh, some deep tissue um, massage and, and release tension in the body, stretch out, take a bath. You know, and that's 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 extreme case where I'm really feeling like holy fuck, I can't, uh, you know, like I really need to 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 give my body a little bit more time to recuperate. Okay, so that's I'm really flexible with uh, the gym, and when I go to the gym, I mean I don't actually stay that long. I it's anywhere between half an hour to to one hour. Like I mean, if you're not fucking around in the gym, you're not dicking around. I mean, you can get a lot of shit done in half an hour to one hour, okay? So that's my tra training schedule. Um, I feel as though, like, you have to condition as much as you train, it's, especially when you're when when you're when, when you're doing a martial art that's that's hard on on the body because there's a lot of sparring. So you have to if you train, let's say. Um, you know, four times a week, then you should be conditioning, you know, uh, almost the same thing, the same ratio, right? More or less. Um, and that's it. That's how I get away with it. It works good. And uh, you guys should, should try to balance it out that way. So you should train. And then on the days that you don't, um, you're not doing your martial art, you should like condition behind it because uh, conditioning is really important as you get older. And even when you're young, it is too. But I mean, because you recuperate faster and all that, you know, you can do like crazy stuff, right? You can go about, you could train six times a week and go to gym another four times a week and, and stuff like that. But as older guys, like we don't have um, that much time and that much energy and our body's a little bit more damaged too, you know, from all the years of uh, uh, just going at it and not being very careful. So I'll put a link down below for, for two books that I think that's gonna really help you, okay? Uh, one is uh, from Pavel uh, Satsulin, okay? And this is where uh, he talks about strength training and basically he just talks about two exercises. I actually made a video about that, but you're just doing a deadlift and press. Deadlifts and, and pressing motions, you know? Uh, for, for strength, for general strength, okay? And then the other book is The Supple Leopard because I think that this book, I wish I would have, would have uh, um, read it a long, long, long time ago, you know, and I'm sure I would have avoided all the injuries that I have right now. So I'll put a link down below for that and um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ask me a question, I'll, I'll definitely try and answer it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.